About five years ago, we embarked on the longest, biggest and the most challenging drive of all when we decided to drive from Stuttgart to Pune. From the German headquarters of Mercedes-Benz to their Indian headquarters around 18,000 km away. It was also the first time that an Indian auto magazine had done an intercontinental drive. The story that follows is from over five years back and a lot has changed since then. Some people from the team have moved on to other roles while others, both in the team and other organizations who were involved with the tribe, now sport different designations. Also, the magazine changed its name to Auto Today from Auto Build India and Headlines Today is now India Today Television. This year is part one of the incredible Great Overland Adventure. The rugged road, the quaint unheard towns, the terrain that changes every half hour. The auto build headlines today team goes on a once in a lifetime epic journey. It is this thrill of being on the road, not for hours, but for days, for weeks and for night on end as the great overland adventure maps out past new cities and towns across ever-changing terrain every new day is a challenge and every day past is a memory to be cherished the vehicle of choice for this journey is the mercedes gla 200 cdi and the support car is a gl 350 cdi i think you picked the perfect car our new compact suv very robust to go on this very big trip these cars had to be shipped to Frankfurt after being registered in India, decked up in their proper livery for this epic journey. The great overland adventure was flagged off at the Mercedes-Benz Stuttgart headquarters in Moringen, destination set for Pune in India, 17,800 kilometers away. Starting from Germany, the next 30 days, the GLA will forge its way through the East European countries of Czech Republic, Poland, Lithuania and Latvia. Crossing the border in Russia, it will be a constant eastward drive to explore the marvellous Russian cities till it reaches Siberia from where it will enter Kazakhstan. Travelling the vast barren highlands to reach Lake Balkhash, it will head west to cross picturesque Kyrgyzstan. Then turning south, just below Mongolia, the GLA team will drive along the Silk Route in China and turn southwest to reach Zhangmu and enter Nepal. From then on, it will be a straight drive southwest to the Golden Quadrilateral in India to bring the cars back home to Pune. We're going to head off to Prague. Prague is 450 kilometers. It's 5.15 in the evening, 5.30 now. It's almost dark, so it's probably be around 10, 11 by the time you reach Prague. Uh, probably have dinner along the way. But now begins the adventure, now begins the driving. So we are finally on the road, and it looks like we've got out of Stuttgart at peak traffic time. It's bumper to bumper traffic. The radio is saying it's uh, stop and go traffic for Zext kilometer. I don't know what Zext means in uh, German, but I think it's probably some 10 15 kilometers. The 
This is the Charles Bridge, a historical monument in the city. The city is behind us. Of course, we can't bring in the cars here. This is only a walking plaza. So we'll walk around the city, take in the sights and sounds. We got a lot of time in Prague. This is day three of the great overland adventure and we are in Warsaw in Poland. This is old Warsaw, the old town, the historic center of the city. We'll take a walk around, we'll have a look at uh, what Warsaw is like. It's got a quaint Eastern European feel. It's not as developed or as bustling as uh, Western European cities. It's still got that old world charm to it that's uh, so attractive and so emotional. Day 4 of the great overland adventure and we are at our 4th country. This is the Lithuanian border crossing. Today we head to Vilnius, which is the capital city of Lithuania. We are going to change the tyres of the cars, put on snow tyres because it's winter over here and you need it for Russia and for the countries that we are going to. Driving due east, it took the GLA team almost a day to get past the Russian borders, getting the paperwork sorted for the cars to continue on their drive. Day 5 and the marvellous city of St. Petersburg greeted the team in the most aristocratic way. St. Petersburg, this is probably the most beautiful and most historic city in the whole of Russia. Just look at this. The city takes your breath away. As we started rolling into St. Petersburg, we wanted to stop at every building. Everything is built in this old Soviet style of architecture. It's huge, massive, great monuments all over the place. But Vitoldas told us to come here. This is the old town square and it 
it just takes your breath away it's unbelievable it's so beautiful i don't want to carry on i just want to spend weeks exploring st petersburg so we've got a long drive now we're heading to moscow which is 700 kilometers away and it is already getting dark it is 3 o'clock and it feels like it is 6 7 in the evening and this road is not really a road that you want to push on the speed limit is 80 kilometers an hour it is for the most part a single carriage way with overtaking lanes which are all very well marked out but it's uh, murky conditions it is pitting with rain so you don't want really don't really want to push tomorrow is a saturday so hopefully there shouldn't be any of that legendary moscow traffic Behind me is the iconic red square with the church, the Kremlin. It's beautiful. It's well worth the drive. Driving through the Russian towns and cities, the GLA team was stopped by a bunch of cops. So this is the reason why we were stopped in Nizhny by the cops. The cars have become filthy. It's been raining. There's a lot of grit on the road. But we don't want to clean the cars because these cars look like expedition vehicles now. Only thing, get the number plate cleaned up. let all the russian cops know that these are cars registered in india in pune Today we have a relatively easy drive. As we're heading east into Russia, the roads are now beginning to fall apart. It's quite bumpy. We are doing just 80 kilometers per hour. We can't go any faster. It's a single carriageway. There is a lot of traffic. And as we're heading east, the landscape is becoming more barren. It's becoming harsher. The winter is setting in. It's two in the afternoon and it's already dark. It's like seven in the evening. The sun is gone. The temperatures are five degrees, so it's cold. Stay tuned for the next part of the great overland adventure as our journey towards Pune in India continues. And for more incredible automotive content, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an upload from Auto Today.